What's up, world? I'm Mikey Nice. And I'm the cameraman, yup, yup. And we are Headroom, space between your ears. That's right, baby. So welcome to the Sunday Smoke Sesh. Me and the cameraman sitting here chilling. I get a little lifted. No so doubt. How you feeling? How you mm -hmm. been, cameraman? The chilling, the same, yeah, same shit. Yeah, just chilling, huh? Same shit, yeah. Same shit, different day, Just for the huh? holidays. I was watching The Simpsons the other day. And you know how in the beginning, Bart Simpson writes in the board, I will not, whatever, 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 and they always change it for each other. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to have to do that when I was a kid in school. Did you used to have to do oh, that? Oh, my God, yes. But not on the board, but on paper, but yes. I used to have to do both. But remember on paper, you would put the big, woo, you would Just make one same, big line. Of the same thing. And it would be all oh, I, and then you would be little. Would yeah. kids today have to do that? I don't think so. That's kind of torturous if you think about it. It's punishment. Kids, kids have punishment. so much easier. Did they nowadays. get punished in school today? Not fucking in the same way, man. Like, you legit had a fucking dunce cap on and you they made you feel like an asshole. It did used to make you sit in the corner. Yeah. And, and you felt so stupid. Sit in the corner. Had to sharpen all the pencils, bang the erasers. Ooh. Kids don't have to do that shit, right? No. no. Not anymore. I don't think so. I haven't been to a sporting event in a while. Do people do still do the wave? <laughs> do they still do that? I don't even know. Like, I know they still do J E T S. J -E -T -S. Do they know what the wave is? Do people know what the wave is? What is the wave? Oh yeah, when you when you get up and yeah, like you'd be sitting there, you'd be just talking, watching the game with your friends, and the yeah. wave would come around and you would just have to oh yeah, like it's that. all of a sudden and everybody would do that and you just go back to talking about what you were talking about and then we'll come back the other way. You go, like, oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. And the people still and then like if you looked around, it was cool. It looked like a wave going around the stadium. That's do they still do that? I don't even know, man. To That's be cool though, right? Yeah. I remember, I think about old things like that. The wave. Wow. I think about shit like that. Like, I remember when I was a kid, a lot of times I would cut out of school with my, my friends, the cutout crew, and we would go to the Bronx Zoo. We used to live by the Bronx Zoo, so we'd go by the Bronx Zoo a lot. And a lot of times there would be an empty cage, and it would say they're in the middle of cleaning the cage. I used to think that was bullshit. I used to think that they lost, like the animal got lost or something, right? Like it's wandering around, like they're all a bunch of people all with those safari no, or, 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 or more with those zoo uniforms looking like they're, they're hunting. And I was, oh, we're just cleaning the cage. Yeah, that's not how you yeah, clean Yeah, where do cage. you put it when you're cleaning the cage? Yeah, right. <laughs> how does it not get a get around, you know? Yeah. That's pretty weird. You I, didn't think I, about that? We did that too. Noah's Ark? In the Bronx Zoo, you never think about Noah's Ark? That's the first place to get all your animals. That's the first place I thought. I'm like, well, there's a lot more animals than just in this zoo. How big was this fucking ark? <laughs> right? That's kind of ridiculous. Is it ridiculous? Kind of. It's funny how religious people don't believe in evolution. But there's like 10,000 types of spiders. So on the ark, there was 10,000 types of spiders, and it was just one type of spider that evolved into the other 10,000 types. I think they probably think it's one that evolved into but the... But they don't believe in evolution. But they don't believe in... Oh, that's true. That's because you can't fucking contradict yourselves. You never thought about that? No, I that's think fucking about weird crazy. shit when I get high, bro. Yes, you do. You absolutely do. I see you got your, your Weed America shirt on Captain Weed America. Captain Weed America! That's right. So if you could have any super... What's the main three superpowers, right? Is, is power flight, a superpower strength, and invisibility, right? Of course. So which one would you want if you could have one? I think I'm pervy enough to go with invisibility. But you would just be like a peeping Tom? Well... Like like, like fire escape. Well, that depends. Shit? Can I... Whatever... If I'm going to steal things, can I make that invisible too? I think the only way is if you insert it in your... And you'd have to be naked. If you're invisible, you have to walk around naked. my clothes don't turn naked? How could your clothes turn invisible? It's not invisible clothes, right? It's just you're invisible, so you don't have to be naked. That means the invisible man. Nothing's going in me, dude. But like the invisible man used to have to wrap himself up in, like, you look like a mummy, right? Because he used to wrap himself up in gauze. Yes, that's true. You're right. You're right. So he would have to be naked all the time. But you think that if he tried to steal a TV, it would be like... If he did hide something... You could steal a Tesla. Because then the cops would be like, oh, it's a self-driving car. It's a self-driving car. <laughs> right? You could steal a Tesla if you were invisible, man. Nice. Nice. I think out of those, I would want power, super power strength. Strength is kind of... What are you going to do with that? I would sit outside the gym 
and I would wait for one of those muscle guys to come out with their protein drink. I'd the slap it right out of his hand. Now what? Now what? 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 I chase him out of there. He try to get in his Jeep Wrangler and drive out of the gym, and I put my hand up. Like one of them superheroes, no? Like I wouldn't be a superhero. I'd just be side super strength, bro. That's kind of silly, though, man. What else are you gonna do with that? Work would be easy. You'd work. You wouldn't. What would I do with it? Try to make win a weightlifting contest. <laughs> I mean, I... well, that's my point. Is that oh, so, okay? So, would you be like a superhero? You're gonna use it to save people? No, because I would save you if you were in trouble. Oh, thank you. What did like that guy that I saved when he fell down the creek? The creek. Oh yeah, fucking I Angelo. Be pull him up. Shout out. Easy. Saved your life, buddy. You owe him. That's true. You're supposed to be my servant for life or something. Like that. <laughs> something like that. That could work though, right? But what if you were gonna have your own superpower? What would it be? Like if you were gonna I don't know if you wanna be a superhero, that's on you, but your own superpower. That's rough, man. I, I, I think I'd like to be like a super cameraman or some shit, you know? The fuck is that? Have like uh telephoto like, lenses or in your and, eyes? Yeah, like bionic fucking some shit like that. But you can know? just get binoculars. You don't so, need a superpower for that. Sure, right. Microscope, telescope. You really don't need. Can I get X-ray vision? You can just get an X-ray vision. Thing. <sighs> X-ray. They have X-ray. Do they? Yeah. No, but I don't want to see bones. I want to see. So what do you want to see? I'm gonna call. <laughs> I don't know if there's a spectrum for that. Really, you get like one no, like, honestly, the airport? man. I, I don't know, man. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Maybe some electrifying power, some zzz, fucking like zap magneto people. and shit. You want that, no, magneto's magnetism. You want to take electric power? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can be a magnetic guy. I would want to be like Prince of Persia or something. I would want to like control time and be able to rewind time a little bit, like a day or something like that. Very dangerous, but yeah, but I would use it for danger. I would like see who won the football game, and I bet on the football game. Uh, the lotto okay. numbers. I would hit the lotto. And then I would go to Vegas, and then I would bet on every football game as much as I could. And then I would take all of that money and just go chill. And I would be like, hey, what song came out? But at least, yeah, that's no, true. I couldn't do it that way, because you couldn't <laughs> do that in a day. But, hmm. I could do some stuff that would be interesting. You know what I'm saying? I guess. I want some physical, like, real... Like what? Be able to hurt somebody, shit. You, you know can hurt somebody. Just call them whatever name hurts them. <laughs> Just you can hurt people with words nowadays. People are mad. So I'm hurt your stuff. feelings, guy. Word. That would be me. I'd be an evil villain. <laughs> an evil Mr. villain. Truth. Hurt your feelings. To Mr. Truth hurts your feelings. Mr. Truth hurts your feelings. <laughs> that would be me. Get mad at me for telling you the truth. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's what I want. Like dress up like a news reporter in the '60s, with a hat with a press on it. <laughs> That'd be pretty dope, right? Breaking that would news. Be fucking dope. That would be pretty cool, bro. <laughs> oh man! See, but don't get it twisted. I did make a list of people that I hate, passionately hate, that I do not know, that I passionately, passionately hate. Like, like, do you know anybody that would send you? A thousand short text messages, like one word text messages, instead of like a sentence at least. They do a word at a time. Okay. Like, okay. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. See you then. And oh, no, they're just putting it all into the fucking same yeah, thing. Yeah, and then it'll, those are the same people that will give you a thousand and one goodbyes. And they'll be like, all right, see you then. All right, talk to you later. Okay, buddy. And I'm like, okay, pal. All right, see you then. Okay. <laughs> Bye. All right. Like, who's going, like, what? Am I supposed to be the last one talking? Are you supposed no, to be you the last one texting. talking? No, you stop texting. No, you stop texting. Exactly, bro. <laughs> so that's, like, a person like that, kind of, I hate them, but I don't want to hate them, but because I'm, like, a casual piece of people person. So people like that, I hate, like, I hate them, but I love, like, there's people that I love I, that do that, but I, I, I hate people that do that. I hate some fucking people, too, man. I hate fucking people that put their toilet paper fucking underneath. Who puts their fucking toilet paper from underneath? Who pulls their paper like that and does that? Please tell me who does that. Is it a matter of preference? No. It's not? It's actually documented that... Actually, watch this picture, right? 
All right. See the way it's fucking wrapping over like that? That's exactly the way fucking paper's supposed to be. You're going to tell me that oh, the that's patent the office, pa- that's from the fucking patent office. The person office. that designed the roll of toilet paper said it should go that it way. It should go that way. So you should probably listen to him, right? So uh, Why, you put your paper underneath? N- no. <laughs> no. Oh my God! Why I'm not supposed? That's no good. Listen, I guess to each his own, but I'm just telling you the right way to do it. It's actually a diagram showing, explaining to you how to fucking put the roll of toilet paper on your damn toilet thingy. And whoever gets offended by that, now your captain hurts you by words when I tell you the truth. <laughs> captain hurts you. <laughs> you see how that works? It doesn't make you a bad person. It's just you know what happens. How about? People that don't understand the volume at which you should talk at. Like, like I have a friend, Richie, who, there used to be a girl that lives next to, so it was a lesbian. And he would come over to my house and he would be like, yo, that lesbian like store is cute, bro. You think I got a shot with her? I'm like, she can fucking hear me. <laughs> you like, fucking... Like, you're talking so loud, it's definitely... <laughs> I ain't talking that fucking loud. What do you think, she's listening? No, everyone is listening. Because you're fucking yelling. You talk like that at the supermarket. Or people that mumble. Sometimes I talk to I love my girlfriend very much. But sometimes I swear she has the phone upside down. I think she's talking into the earpiece. Right. Because it just sounded... <laughs> like the peanuts. And I don't understand a word she... Or have you ever been on, say, a bus or a train or in any sort of public or waiting in line at some... I don't want to sound racist, but like a person from like Africa where they talk on the cell phones. I don't know if the cell phones in Africa are not good, but the people... Can you hear me now? (laughs) No, they just talk the whole thing. Yeah, so, yeah. I know, yo, my headphones can only go so loud and you're still drowning me out, homie. Use your inside voice, dog. Use your inside voice. I do hate people like that. Had a cab driver like that once, bro. Oh my god. I think we've all had that same cab driver. That's that's the type of person that really makes me. I hate people that start fucking a conversation like in the middle. Like you're supposed to know what they're thinking. Like right in the middle of a thought. And just all of a sudden, my mom does that to me, and it fucking drives me crazy. Really? I don't know anybody that does that. I do that. I guess I guess I I'm kind of guilty of it too, but it fucking like annoys that. me. When well, my mom does it, that shit annoys me, man. Really, bro? I would not know what that feels like. <laughs> what annoys me more is when you ask somebody a question and they don't answer you, but they answer you. Like I called my friend one time and I'm like, "Hey, where are you?" It's like I'm in my car. <laughs> I guess technically, some way you're answering my question, but. How is that? How am I supposed to ascertain information from that? I'm in my car. I, so I didn't know what to. I'm like, all right. So so, but where is your car? Oh well, I'm pulling into the garage. Where is the garage? How many different ways do I have to frame this question for you to answer it? You know what I mean? Okay, I get it. I get it. You know where are it. you? I'm waiting online at the, at the parking garage. No, that tells me what you're you, doing. So if you I say specifics. what you're doing, are you going to tell me where you are? You want specific. I want a fucking location. Details. Where are you, Andrew? You want fucking uh, GPS. Where are you? Latitude, longitude. Son, you I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's what happens. I don't know. That, that's somebody that aggravates me sometimes. But th- that, but that's part on you. You know what I'm saying? Or do you know anybody that's like, like a vegan or a marathon runner? Or anyone that does anything that challenges themselves where they feel superior to you and they have to tell you all the time, I'm a vegan, well, as a marathon runner, I feel that this and... That's so annoying. And you know what I'm saying? So and annoying. they do that because they want, they want to feel superior because they're challenging themselves in life. But they don't understand that being friends with them is my challenge in life. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like being That's friends with so, it's hard to be friends with somebody like that. So to maintain a friendship with somebody like that is as difficult as it is to be a vegan or a marathon runner or, or whatever else people want to brag about these days. I don't know what, what else do people brag. CrossFit 
or whatever yeah. they do. You know what I'm saying? Do your fucking triathlons or whatever the fuck you're doing, man. Do your own hunters, doesn't matter, man. Like, whatever, man. That I doesn't define that. you. You know what I'm saying? That. I hate fucking people that walk up the escalator. They walk up the escalator what? and they fucking plop themselves and stay stationary right on the top of the like, fucking little thing. What do you switch. What do you do with that extra time? I need to know. <laughs> With all of that extra time you say running up the escalator, what do you do with that time? At the end of the week, when you got an extra 30 seconds, baby, <laughs> what do you do with that 30 seconds? I gotta know. I have to know. Yo, that shit annoys me, That annoys man. the crap out of me, too, Especially bro. now in this time of season. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's a fact, bro. How about... You ever read one of these things on Facebook where people write these... Paragraphs, bro. Just paragraphs. Oh, I, of, I don't. Of life and inspiration. I and don't. How I feel about it. Nah, bro. I read every word, man. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, yo, man. I, I think I should go back to college, bro. I go back to college. I think maybe I'll study, like, uh, maybe I'll take English and maybe journalism. You know what I mean? And then maybe I could get a job at like a company where I could learn how to code computer stuff. Maybe I can get a job at like BuzzFeed or Facebook or Facebook would be great, right? Because right. then I can get a job and I could secretly delete your motherfucking <laughs> account. Stop doing shit like that. Nobody's reading that bullshit. This is write a book. If write a book and the people who want to read a book I was gonna will say. look for a book. But what the fuck? That's not what Facebook is. It's not for you to write a book, bro. Yo, dude, I was going to say this. Chill no with way. that. <laughs> There's no way. Chill with that shit, Seriously, right? Fuck them. That makes me crazy. Oh, bro. my God. That annoys the fuck out of me, too. Chain letters. Get the fuck Those out of here. Those are the people that make letter. me not. Yeah, right. If you send this to the, five the, people. People, you yeah, luck and get the fuck that out of here. That shit pisses me off, bro. What else? You got anybody else that pisses I, you off? I've seen people, like, leave shitty tips, man. And I don't know why that bothers me so much. But and it's like a scumbag thing to it, do. It's, it, yeah, but like this, I get this if I literal, this slaps in the face. I mean, I've seen an old lady with a fucking brand new Mercedes Benz of the fucking year, giving the fucking guy fifty cents. I mean, like what, literally handing him two what? quarters. Two quarters. The guy, the guy. No, the funny shit is the guy. No, no, no. It's okay. You, right now, I get paid well. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a fucking slap in the face, man. How are you going to do yeah, that to somebody? that's bad. Go get yourself some coffee, young man. I've actually... Fuck out of here. I've actually... When we, when we valeted the car, like valet, but park the car, like in a parking garage or something for work, like I'm the type of person that'll give a tip before when you, when you get the car and when you get the car back. Oh, yeah. two yeah. tips. There's two crews. You don't know, but you don't want people to fuck with your car. You want them to make look after your car a little I'm bit. Sorry. So you give the guy a couple of bucks as soon as you get, you know, when you get out of the car. And then when you go to give him the ticket, you give him a couple of bucks before he goes and gets your car. I get embarrassed, man. If I have friends that are like that, thank God. Like at a restaurant, like that, bro? Thank God. That's why I, I won't feel comfortable going to a restaurant with people unless I can afford to pay for everyone, to be honest with you, bro. Because sometimes, that's why I don't like to go with too many people, bro. Because if pe people be getting greedy, man. They're like, oh, well, I only had this. Right. All right, now you're being, now you're being stingy. The poor guy works here. He doesn't have to worry about... Who ate what? He's still trying to count on that tip to pay his bills and feed That's his family true. and stuff like that. That's a bad. A lot of times bro. they don't even get because since they get tips, they don't even get a full salary. So I like, tip. Yeah, well that yeah, it's especially a waiter uh, yeah, or something you, like you that. You you go, you're out of hand though. Yeah, but uh, you know, if you get good service, you're, you're supposed to reward it. You're 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 like a. But you're supposed to be a good tipper if you get like. Good I would service. like to be on the uh, other end of that one. You know what I'm I saying? I tip any place they they accept tips. I tip if they deserve it. Yeah. And then, like, even at coffee carts and stuff, people will be like, oh, uh, like, the people I'm with, they're like, oh, why are you tipping the coffee cart guy? I'm like, because, you know, not for nothing. Number one, he's got a shitty job. He stands in that little closet all day long serving people. People are annoying, right. da, da, da. And then sometimes at the end of the week, they throw you an extra cheese Danish or something like that. <laughs> right, that's you know, so I'll be like, oh, yeah, on a Friday, I'll get my stuff for whatever, coffee and a biscuit or a donut or whatever it is. And then he'll throw like an extra, I'm like, oh, the bag is extra heavy this Friday. Oh, I realize. And then I try to give it out. Or I, I don't really like cheese danishes. But I don't, it, But it's nice. It's it the gesture and the idea Even that. Even if I feed it to the pigeons, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's still something, bro. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. But other than that, I'm a people person. No, for sure. I'm for a sure. people person. Definitely. Mm. I am too. But on the other end of that spectrum, you got people that got jobs that they hate and they take it out on the customer. For the job that they hate. That's bad too. Motor vehicle, motherfucker.
motherfuckers. That, yeah, things like that, bro. That mm-hmm. kind of bothers me, right? Mm-hmm. Or like if I go into the corner grocery store, whatever, and like the guy behind the counter, he don't want to be there. I get it. You don't want to be there. I don't want to be there with you. You know what I'm saying? So if I could, I won't go into that store anymore. Because you hate your job, so now you make me hate interacting with you. Which is fine for me personally, because I'll turn around and walk out, but then I got somebody like you to be like, oh, you give me a sandwich? <laughs> oh, Jesus, sorry, I gotta order a sandwich. Come on. And then you forgot to tell me if you want mayonnaise or mustard. So now this guy's gotta ask me a question already in an uncomfortable interaction that I don't know the answer to. You know what I'm saying? So now I gotta talk to this guy and I don't really wanna talk to you in the first place. I would, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be in there. You know what I mean? So it makes it very difficult. Calling sick. Call in sick. That one day you should have called in sick. We all done that, right? Oh yeah, for sure. We practice like we all like. Oh, I don't know. Like Meryl Streep's a good actress, but check me when I don't want to go to work that day. But a lot of these people feel like they're in the position of power, man. Like it, you know, they, like they control whatever's gonna fucking the outcome of your sandwich. Your sandwich. I guess you might fucking eat. No, remember. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Uh, Yuck. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that kind of stuff. That happened to me too just today. I didn't want to go back because they fucked up my order. Yeah, that happened. Shout out fucking McDonald's fucking up my order. Yeah, that happened. We were going to make a video with hot sauces. But uh, McDonald's gave us chicken with hot sauce already all over it. Dicks. Kind of defeats the purpose, right? Exactly. Hate we'll shit like out. that. We'll, we'll make something else up. You know what happened to me the other day? I kind of got pulled over. Right, and then fucking got out of the car, you know, and fucking in two minutes the cop found a joint in my car. Really? Which is fucked up because I was looking for that joint for like two months, bro. <laughs> hey, thank didn't know you. Can I get, oh, did he take it away? Yeah. Oh. But like, yo, can I just keep it? I promise you, I'm not gonna smoke I it now. Stale anyway. Yeah, but still, man, was it was that, that good shit. shit. I, was what was for, it? I was looking for it for like a month. Then I then I forgot about it. Then I remembered. I looked for it again for a couple what of What good days. strain were we smoking? We smoke so many good strains. Yeah, man. there's too many good strains, dude. I don't know. But whatever. I'd like to give a shout out. Shout out. And a shout out to Solo Stone. Solo Stone. Oh, the newest subscriber. Oh, nice. Shout, shout out, out no to doubt. Graham Kennedy. New, another new subscriber. You know what I'm saying? Bloody Gill, I think, is also another subscriber. Bloody Gill. Shout out to Bloody Gill. Who else? Shout out to my fucking boy, Joey. What's up, Joe? No doubt. What about Justin? Justin, Justin, Justin's music's playing in the background right now, actually. This is on SoundCloud. His name is Recognize. If you want to spell boy. it the right way. It's W R E K. N R E K O N Y Z E. Correct. Right? Just so that's like that. W R that's the only way I know how to spell it the way you spell it. W-R-E-K-O-N-Y-Z-A. He lives in Florida now. Z A. South kind of guy. Got me fucked up right now. <laughs> Got me fucked up right now. <laughs> Shout out Burns. He had a thing on Facebook where he says, when black, when black people say you got me fucked up, the white equivalent is newsflash, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> newsflash, buddy. No doubt. Shout it's out recognized. Burns. Newsflash, buddy. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Nice. Nice. So what else has been happening in that camera, man? Anything else interesting? Mm. Nothing else? Just, you know, thinking about shit that's been annoying me, man. That's about it. You're a cameraman. Here's a question. Let's say I got one of those cameras with the lenses like this, right? That you adjust, right? right? And let's say I wear glasses. Right. So I got to take off the glasses so I could get my eye on the lens, right? Right. So do my pictures come out blurry? No, depending on what your focal point is, though. What do you want to be blurry? Because No, I don't want it to be blurry, but if my eyesight is blurry... Oh, you mean in that respect, like camera? Effect, is, no, it actually makes you see better a little. Yeah, for sure. But is the, that what you mean? I'm saying, are the pictures blurry? No. If it's clear to me, is it blurry to you? Now you're confusing me. You know, I'm gonna have about to test that? that and try that because <laughs> I think about these things. Man. You think about the weirdest shit. You That's really what do. headroom is about. It is. It is about thinking about weird shit for sure. That is. I wonder if there's any other weird shit that I was thinking about. Not really. I don't know. 
I'm not sure that this one is, is uh, recognized, but... I think he's involved with this. He must have been involved with it or something, yeah. That's certainly not him. Yeah. Justin, is that you? No. Justin? Justin? Correct it, Justin, for me, please. Justin? Justin. Justin. Tell the fuck are ya? We do an ASMR. Is that How's your fucking beard doing? Better than that, you fucking... ASMR. ASMR. Is that oh, what shit. it's called, an ASMR? ASMR, is that what it's called? ASMR? A-S... Did you watch any videos about it? No. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It seems ridiculous to me. It, do, it really does. It's, do you guys know what that is? Tell me. A-S-M-R. <laughs> oh my god, man. That's funny. Is that a new rap style, ASMR? Oh, that's recognized right there. That's definitely Justin. Yes, thank you. Shit. Did they hear him good? I'll put a link so you can just go straight to his SoundCloud. Check it out. Word. Check, Check out Jesse Jess on man. Check him out. What's up, Jesse Jess Jess? Jesse Jess and the what's he was. What's going on on, Jesse Jess? Yeah. You know what else I was thinking about? Oh, we don't have a lot of time. Maybe I'll save that for a future episode if I think about this stuff. Future episodes. A future episode. Uh, well, I guess we should say peace out. No doubt. No definitely. doubt. Peace out. You should definitely like. Subscribe. Comment. Subscribe. Yeah, we had a problem with the comments. We apologize. We had it shut off by mistake. We were fixing the settings on some shit. I don't know. Oops. And we accidentally un shut off. Un <laughs> it's because they're trying. They're giving me such a hard time uploading things now. That I have to go to a different like server thing to, because they're looking for... Uh, Kid Doesn't related matter. things. Doesn't I don't know. It's ridiculous, Doesn't but matter. it's fucking stupid. All I know is that uh, just comment again. We'll have more more comments up. We most guys. definitely. Um, most deaf. Peace out. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Tell your friends. Watch the old ones. Hit if DHC button. is watching, we didn't get our box, but yo, what's, what's up? up? The box DHC. K Pasa. Some sort of email or something like that. What's up with that? No doubt. All right, so whatever, we'll get back. Peace out. We love you. Is this Justin too?